Hey guys, welcome back to Hype RC. In today's video, we have the brand new SEX24 Dodge Power Wagon. Now, this rig differs than all the other SEX24s. It comes with a new remote, oil filled shocks, a licensed Dodge Power Wagon body, and Pro Line tires. So, this time of the year, it starts to get cold. It's time to break out the 124 scale rigs and start doing a little bit of indoor crawling. Let's get over to the bench and see exactly what comes in the box. All right, guys, let's go ahead and see exactly what comes in the box. So we've got our rig. Love how they always do the little background on it. We've got our instruction manual. Ooh, nice. They gave us went ahead and gave us the batteries. Nice set of decals, big axial sticker, quick guide, big manual. Looks like we got a set of bumpers and then all the rear mouse kind of looks like the same thing that comes in the Gladiator kit. And then the new model comes with the SLT2 remote, which is a nice little upgrade from the other remotes that they used to have. You can do this one-handed. It's got some nice features and functions on it. Very lightweight. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take an up-close look at everything that comes out of the box. So, of course, you get your Dodge Power Wagon. You get the SLT2 remote. You get a set of batteries to go ahead and get that remote up and running. You get a very nice in-depth instruction manual. You get a binder plug. You get this neat card that comes with links to support and upgrades for the rig. You get the newest style USB-C charger. You get a set of preload spacers for those new oil-filled shocks. You get a very nice set of decals. You get a bed cage and then a ton of scale accessories to go on there you get recovery boards a jack little gas can shovels a pop-up tent this is a very nice rtr you literally need nothing else to get into this hobby except for to buy this rig it comes with everything you need batteries chargers everything this is a great starter rig for anybody that wants to get into the hobby let's go ahead and take an up close look at the rig itself all right, guys, let's go ahead and take an up-close look at this four-door Dodge Power Wagon. This thing has super scale realism to it. It's got working headlights. It has turn signals. It has these windshield wipers, breakaway mirrors, really nice door handles. It has a tailgate that drops down. Now, it's not a super deep bed, but just another neat scale detail. It does come with tinted windows and a passenger and a driver in there. Now, this thing is hinged with Velcro to open it up that allows you to get to all the electronics inside. So, let's talk about the new things I see right off the bat. This is looks to me to be a new two-in-one ESC. It does come with new wheel wells. It also comes with these super plush oil-filled shocks, which are super cool. It comes with Pro-Line Super Swampers on three-piece rims right out of the box. That is super nice. Now, the things that I see that look exactly the same, it has the same standard servo and motor that all the other SCX24s come with. This is just a rebranded battery, so that is the same battery that comes on the other ones. This does have bearings in it, but the Steering links and suspension links are all plastic exactly the same, and these drive shafts are the same ones that come on the Gladiator. So let's go ahead and get a battery charged up and get out and run this thing box stock and see how it performs. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get a weight on our four-door power wagon. So this guy is actually very rear biased heavy. It is 52% in the rear with 48% in the front. It is balanced 50-50 left to right, but this thing is going to need a ton of weight up front to help it crawl better.
All right, guys, let's talk about how our SEX24 four-door Dodge Power Wagon performed out there. It did okay. It's got some good pros, but it's got some not-so-good cons. I like the direction that Axial is headed with this rig, so let's just go ahead and get right into it. So the number one pro for this rig is absolutely the looks. The fact that they put all the scale, detail, and realism in this makes it the best-looking SEX24, in my opinion. I really like this orange. Next, I like the fact that they did try to upgrade the electronics a little bit with the SLT2 remote. I think that is a step up from the last gen. Next, I love the fact that this thing comes with Pro-Line wheels and tires. That is not something that you usually get on an RTR. It's a nice set of sticky tires, and this one definitely did not disappoint in that category. And then the next Pro is something we have all been asking for for a very long time in an SEX24, and that is oil-filled shocks. No more friction dampened log wagon bouncing down the trail springs for this thing. I love these oil filled shocks with a little bit of tuning. I think they will perform very, very well. And then last on the pro list, I love the fact that this comes with bearings in it. Most rigs at this price point come with bushings. You gotta strip it down, get all those out and put a bearing kit in. Let's get over to the cons. The number one con for this rig is absolutely the weight. The fact that this is heavier in the rear than it is in the front right out of the box does not help performance at all. And the side hilling on this rig is absolutely terrible. Next on the con list. I think the foams in these tires are way too hard. Now, Proline does sell a two-stage foam for 1.0, so we're definitely going to take a look at those. And then I would have really liked to have seen Axial upgrade the servo and the motor on this rig. You know, they're underpowered for their standard SEX24. For a longer wheelbase and a heavier body, they are just underwhelming in power and performance. Next, the approach and departure angles on this rig are not good. This front bumper is way too wide and it sticks out way too far and it just really impedes performance big time. So, you know, all in all, this rig gets about a six and a half out of 10 for me. There's a lot of things I do like, but a lot of things I don't like. I've got a huge pile of upgrades for this thing, but I wanted to run it for you guys box stock first and, you know, find out exactly what it did do well and what it didn't do well. And now we know. And so I'm going to get a video out on upgrades very, very soon. So don't forget to support your local hobby shop, Bash Car Repeat. Hit that subscribe and like button for me and ring the bell so you can catch my next video. We'll see you next time.